Yo, 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 here playing Xeno, Blade like a ho. Hey, what's up? It's your favorite toucan here. We're surrounded by some very emotional music. It's tear jerking. Whew. Whew. Damn. They're getting me emotional and we haven't even got into the game yet. <laughs> Jeez, okay, we just gotta jump in. This is too much. Okay, at the very end of the last episode, we died fighting some magnets or something along those lines. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I think we gotta level up, and I think the best way to do that would be through doing some side quests. Also, really excited to see quite a few people excited about this Let's Play. I'm really pumped to be playing this game for you guys. It's gonna be a good one. When the game's good, and the commentator's good, you know it's gonna be a good journey. Everything's so quiet around here right now. Oh, we have a guy to talk to. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Can I get a, oh yeah! I want to make some kid size armor for my son. Problem is, I don't have enough small scales. Is his son a Zora? Mind helping me out? Sure, one small scale. It'll take one scale to make the armor. Great, okay, cool, sure. So last episode, we died fighting these weird magnet things. I don't know what to call them because I'm not sure what they were, but I'm pretty sure we have to fight them and kill them, so we're just gonna like do some quests and kind of explore a bit more, level ourselves up, maybe get some more money, buy some better armor. And you know, this colony just seems like a really cool place to explore, so I just wanna, you know, take it in. Seems like a really nice, a nice chill night. It's our girl Desiree. All I know is this isn't enough. I need to be doing something bigger with my life. Actually, there's someone in the residential district a bit like me. Similar circumstances, I mean. I'm thinking I could see how they saw this dilemma and follow suit. Ugh, I feel that. I feel like everybody probably has that feeling like they should be doing something bigger with their life, right? Like if you're watching this right now, do you feel right now like you should be doing something bigger with your life than you are? Cause like even though I'm usually doing stuff that I feel like is pretty big, I always feel like I should be doing something bigger, you know? I, th I think it's just human nature, right? We want to be doing more. That's why we grow in the first place. Who's this? Oh, it's me. <laughs> stretchy boy. And Yanni boy. But mostly stretchy boy. I'm thinking of making some kind of trap for catching insects. I just don't have time to get all the materials I need. Will you help a guy out? What do you need? A plate? Plate snow? What is this? You're gonna make a bug trap out of snow? Oh, we already have some. I think we found that last episode. Cool, so if you already have the object when talking to them for the quest, then it just immediately solves. Uh, did I have an option? Like, I think he just took my, my plate snow. King Squeeze? Don't know what you think talking to me will achieve. I'm just your everyday commoner garden moneylender. You want me to be more precise? All right then, I'm the creditor for a certain good-for-nothing critic. One who's overdue on his payments. Freaking King Squeeze, I feel like he is not somebody you want to be in debt to. <laughs> Whatsoever, we got a spanner. Star Spangled Spanner. How do we get back to the other side of the village? Getting around here is kind of like a maze. Wait, how do I get back? I don't know why, but I feel like I'm exploring a town in a Sonic game. I feel like the, the types of games that have explored cities like this the most are Sonic games. Well, do you really have to jump off the balcony to get back to the regular area? Did Ryan just say Ali oop? I wonder how many voice lines and dialogue and like little quips each character has. Seems like there's a decent amount, but they talk a lot. So I hope they have a lot of quips because I feel like it'll get really repetitive otherwise. Okay, I'm gonna go take a look over at the residential district real fast. Cause that's like the one area that I haven't really looked around much. These cannons are freaking huge. Oh, look at this little guy. Yeah. Oh, 
they have good sleep at night, but they're snoring so loud, my sleep not good. Oh, I just realized we're s sitting next to some. What are these? Giant armadillos? They're like sand shrews. Hmm. Whoa, was not meaning to get that low of an angle. <laughs> Some really chill night music. Very, very pretty. I kind of wish we could go inside more of the houses, but at the same time, maybe it's good that we can't. We might be overwhelmed with the amount of like opportunities if we could go inside all of these houses. I see some quests right up here. Right back here, yo, what's going on? What's happening? No, you must be an idiot. Talk to her and you'll see. Talk to who? Good day. What's going on? I've lost the tool I need for work. I just don't know what to do. Without that, I can't even make enough money to eat. You couldn't find it for me, could you? The spanner? Oh, li we literally just found that. We're gonna get 50 experience. I left it back in the commercial district last time I went to work. Where do I see how much experience I need to level up? Is that enough? Let's see, we have equipment. I see HP, if I click on party. That's not what I'm looking for. I haven't looked at skill trees yet. Can I unlock anything? Allow medium weight armor to be equipped. And this allows for HP recovery extra effect value of 10%. Do I need more SP? I'm not really sure what to choose there right now. <laughs> Too many options. We can change our arts out. I don't think we have any other options right now, but it's cool how we can like curate that in the future. You know, I don't see a way to see how many experience points we have. I guess we just gotta look at the numbers as they fill up. Yeah, this seems like a more urgent quest. Found the open gate. Oh, wait, what? It's helping us solve the quest. A resident lost her key and can't get back into her house. Wait, does the key just like teleport back to her? <laughs> How does that work? That's a big okay for me. <laughs> hmm. All right, let's move along with our lives. The residential district wasn't nearly as large as I thought it would be. What characters do I need for that? Alright, so what quest do we have to do? Let's see. Quest log. Does the crown mean we've completed it already? It looks that way? Yeah. Well, there's like a lot of steps. This is really detailed. I haven't looked at this yet either. Okay, we have a couple like material quests, I need Vang Teeth, some eggs, the small scale, defeat some lake creatures, defeat, oh yeah, that one creature, let's go, let me go see if I can defeat that creature down by the water that defeated us last episode. Two lake flammy, okay. So we just gotta go like kill some random enemies. Seems like the lake has a lot of opportunity for us there. It's rather dark right now. I hope it's not like too dark on the video. How does this come across like while watching? Like it's fine for me. So I, I would assume it's fine for the viewers as well. But I, I bet daytime is probably a bit more convenient for, for a viewer. Oh, we got some bats, some zoo bats. And the little vangs. Uh, behind the attack, let's go. A lot of damage. Give me level 8 in like 2 seconds. Bam. Going in on it. Oh, wait, from behind? Behind? Yes. <laughs> I do not know what affinity coins are. There's so many things in this game. Aha. Killing it. 
And did we get some extra? Yeah, well, that bat was holding shoes and goggles? Where? How? These bats have hidden pockets. Their wings are actually... Yeah, their wings have built on little pockets. That'd be kind of cool. If there was like a kangaroo bird. A marsupial bird. Hmm. Maybe someday. Could happen. Can we swim? Have I, have I, is that a thing? I haven't tried yet. Okay, we're, we're level 8 now. So I have a feeling we can probably take this on. Gonna attack from behind first. That's how you do a lot of damage. It's going for me. Oh, let's do a side attack. That lowers the defense when we when we land it. I don't think it hit because he like locked on me. He's locked on me right now because there's a red circle around me. Okay, nobody's hurt yet. Okay, I could heal somebody, but there's like really no need. Ooh, behind. Oh, did I miss it? What? We definitely have this. He doesn't seem to be hurting anybody. Or are we like, are we healing faster than he Wow, that was like so much easier. <laughs> We've leveled up. I think there was only two of us fighting last time. So I think maybe having a party of three, having Fiora here, makes a big difference. We've definitely gotten stronger. Definitely Fiora. That was her name, right? Fiora or Fiona? Oh God. Yeah, Fiora. It's a pretty sleek name. I don't think I've heard the name Fiora in anything before. This creature has a weird hairdo. Reminds me of a dinosaur. It's a cute frog. Oh, the hair's cute. Obviously. That's the adjective I was looking for. Uh, he's locked on to me. Are we in love? I hope so. Very cool. Alright, let's see if we can swim. <laughs> uh, cool. Can we dive? I don't think we can dive. But that's cool to know we can swim. Is there a limit? Or can we just swim for as long as we want? Swimming in the nighttime is scary though. Like, this water is dark. Oh, we got a dragonfly. Oh, that reminds me. <gasps> Check this out. Because we're playing Xenoblade, I, I noticed that dragonflies seem to be a reoccurring theme. So I got my dragonfly mug for coffee. So we can caffeinate with some style, some some theming, some, some culture. I don't know what word I'm looking for. I love my bean soup. It hits every time. Most of my commentary is brought to you by caffeine. If it wasn't for caffeine, attacking two cans probably wouldn't exist. Or why two can? Call me whatever you like. <laughs> I like both names. Why two can is based off of the Twitch, the Twitch emote. Why to Pepe? Is that what it is? Why Pepe sad? Why Pepe happy? You know, just stretch it out. Mess up the aspect ratio. I thought it would also lead to some like good memes. Some good thumbnails. I've been enjoying stretching myself out for some thumbnails on the channel. Okay. <laughs> I need to not press the wrong buttons at the wrong times like that. It's stressing me out. Where are these lake creatures that the quest was talking about? Here it is. I spoke it into existence. Oh, it's one of the storks. I don't necessarily want to kill it, but I guess I have to. What was the problem with these guys? Oh, I think they have, it probably has the eggs that I want. Oh no, we're just supposed to kill them. Who had, who had beef? Oh, we also got the egg. Knocking these quests out left and right, baby. We're gonna have a lot of money. Maybe we can also buy some upgrades. Seems to always be worth attacking from behind. It's kind of a dirty move, but... You know, we're going for efficiency. 
okay if we fight like this. I'm getting paid out. More eggs. I like eggs. What creatures are these? More of those armadillos? Yeah, I think so. They're super cute. I love the wildlife in this game. I wish there was ways to interact with it other than killing it. Over enemy. Yeah, that sucks. You can only hurt them. There's no pacifist options. What type of lessons are these games teaching the kids? Think about the children. Uh, let's teleport back to the town. Should I play in expert mode? What do you guys think? Is expert mode something I should consider switching the game to? I have like one person tell me that I should. But like, am I good enough to do that? I'm gonna go buy some stuff. It's time to go shopping. This will give me plus 16, but that's 8,000. That's very expensive. And this one will give us plus 13. And this one honestly seems like a better option. It's way, way, way cheaper. Do I want to get that for everybody? Let's get one for Ryan. The Imperial Gauntlets. Everything that's Imperial seems to be like the best option for us right now. Let's get one for Ryan. And that seems to be almost all of our money at this point. Gotta get ourselves the girdle. <laughs> the fact that it's called a girdle is so funny. Wait, can I get the bikini bottom? Oh, Shulk can't wear the bikini bottom? That's sexist. Okay. We're doing the girdle. And... I think that's really all I can afford. Gotta make sure to put it on. The colony cuffs? No, we need the imperial gauntlets, baby. Colony bottoms? No, imperial girdle. We got the whole matching set. Wow, that looks really nice. Oh, look how shiny the fabric is. And then our shoes are still rather mid. I guess we can do the messenger shoes. They're a little bit better. All right, now let's check out Ryan. Whoa. These weapons are all way better. Let's put muscle up on him. He deserves to be stronger. Let's helm him up. Okay, we didn't really get much for Fiora. But it's okay. We'll buy some stuff for her in the future. We can only do so much. And I think we're out. Let's go back to the caves and go back and see if we can fight those monsters that killed us. I'm, I'm feeling pretty hopeful about it. Technically, I can just, like, teleport here, can't I? Can I teleport to the end? Oh, I totally can. Alright, and just like that, we're already back up here. Feeling good about it. Great views. Colonies looking like a little ant colony. Okay, we're in the battle. Let's take it one at a time. Start with the behind attack, please. If I can even? I guess it's not happening. Why am I not attacking? What the heck? I thought he attacked automatically. How do I initiate it? Dang. I already lost like half of my HP. Alright. Get up from behind. There we go. Oh, he's down. Cool. On the side, too. Lower his defense. Oh shoot, Fiora is about to get knocked down. It's not looking too great. I hope we can do this. We might have to go like level up in the caverns. If this doesn't work out for us. I think we could, if we can take out one though, we'll be good. Gotta keep Fiora alive. <laughs> Stay with us, girl. Stay with us. Okay, one's dead. One's dead. Should not be a problem. Two, like cutting the damage in half is just gonna help exponentially. Let's go. Oh yeah, we got this. Good job, team. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Fiora. 
or fantastic. Fiora, are you okay? I'm fine. How about you? I'm all right. Feeling Thanks to you and Raggy. What on oh, I'm so big right now. Still, my bad. I've never seen anything like them. Could they have been Mekon? No. I think they were something left by the civilization that built this vehicle. They didn't seem like Mekon to me. But why did they only show up now? I don't know. But they were probably built to protect this place. They might have been activated in response to something. But I don't think that something could have been us. Please, let's go back. I don't want to be here anymore. Me neither. And we've already got the ether cylinders. Huh? What's going on? Listen! What is that? That sound. What's happening? <laughs> Everything good? <In> solid? <laughs> Who's that? Oh. Is that the Transformer? Oh. It's a... This can't be! No way. Ah, uh, ooh. That's a lot of... Are we being invaded? Macon. Oh, no. this is not... Whoa, this is about to get real, huh? Didn't my brother destroy them all a year ago? Could that defense mechanism have responded to the Mekon? Let's get back to the colony. Come on. This is pretty messed up. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Are these things vicious? Uh, this siren, it sounds different. Yeah, isn't this siren too? It can't be. Oh. Regular civilians. What are they gonna do? Are they prepared for this at all? One large Mekon! Ten Yikes. And an unknown number of you is emerging from the carriers! You idiots! Why didn't you see this lot until they were right on top of us? What's up? We thought the Mekon had all been wiped out! Oh shoot! They took Oi, out the cannon! What's happening? Respond! Oi! Anti-air batteries one to three. Why aren't my targeting systems online? Don't let a single one into the colony. So just because you yell it doesn't mean it's going to happen. Evacuate the civilians to the shelter. Get a move yes, on. Fire at will. Freaking she. All right, we're we making a little it. bit. There's so no, many of them, wait. though. What the? Our weapons don't work on the mother. Oh hole. yeah, we're screwed. This is the worst case scenario. Oh, that thing's scary. What type of mechon is that? I've never seen one like it. You slackers, fire! They're Shoot back for down. some major revenge, huh? Two monitors. They remind me of Bionicles. I used to love those toys. Oh, oh that one's creepy. It's like a spider. What's he gonna do about it? Do I? Do I just like jump? Oh shoot! Oh god! Am I gonna survive this? No, I'm gonna die for sure. Achievement, making waves. I got an achievement for doing that? Okay, sure, I guess that works too. Is this a, is this a bad time to do a side quest? Can I not attack while I'm swimming? It's, oh wait, I think I was just L targeted onto the wrong thing. No, I can't attack it. You're come close to land. Come here. Let's do this. I'm trying to be a side quest. Nice. Thank you, Ryan. Apparently, Ryan can swim and attack at the same time. I cannot. Maybe it's because Ryan's a lot more buff. It makes a bit more sense. Let me get the scale. Gotta make sure that kid has some armor so he doesn't die from the mechon. My timing's so perfect. 
Am I supposed to be walking there or should I like quick warp? <laughs> Looking pretty far away. Uh, I think I think I'm stuck. I'm gonna quick warp. Why is the map painting out everything in red? Oh, I can't skip to it. Okay, I guess we gotta get there the long way. Shoot. How do I get in land? I think I think I I, get, I got myself stuck down here. The whole entire city is gonna be destroyed by the time we get there, but you know, all good. All good. I did not expect it to turn this quickly. Like this was such a cute town, and now everyone that we just met is apparently gonna be dead. That's what it seems like. So cool. <laughs> Happy beginnings. Whoa. No. It's gonna like cut him in half. Jeez. <laughs> They're all screwed. <laughs> I'm not sure if we could have even done anything. Probably good we're late. We probably would have died if we were here earlier. They're eating people. That's horrible. Is Dunban okay? Fiora, go and check on him. Uh, okay. What was she? Yeah, Fiora snapping? <laughs> what the heck? She was like super distracted by something. Heads up, Ryan. If this thing wants to fight. Let's Are we able one. to kill it? We don't have the Minato, do we? Okay, change party and equipment. Okay, so it's just us. Inflict the topple before attacking a Mekon. Anyone can deal damage to a Mekon if it's suffering from topple. Break arts, inflict break. Topple arts, inflict topple. Okay. I think I, I, think I understand. So I, I use this. Break. And then Ryan is supposed to topple it, apparently. You gonna do your part, Ryan? Can I switch to Ryan? Like, I can't play as him, can I? I'm not really sure what happened here. I think Ryan just, like, dropped the ball on this. At least this mech on is an easy mech on. He doesn't have like the gigantic open mouth. Right? Okay, there we go. Thank you, Ryan. That's what I was waiting for. Is that it? <laughs> See? Didn't stand a chance. It's not that easy. We've disabled it, but only for now. It'll reactivate soon. He's already getting big headed. We've, already, we've only killed one easy He's one gone. out of like hundreds. I can't find him anywhere. What? He ain't fit enough to face these things. Ryan, let's get to the lab. The lab? Of course. The Monado's there. Exactly. The Monado can take out Mecha. We're out of our minds. <laughs> Are we really? <laughs> okay, sure. Hopefully, this is a death wish. Flee during battle, highlight the talent icon and use. Okay, yeah. Whoa, whoa, this is really, really scary. Oh. Am I supposed to fight these? Or am I su I feel like I'm supposed to run. It does not seem like it would be a good idea to fight these guys. Especially these gigantic ones. No, thank you. Get through and get the Minato so we can do the real damage. You think you can do what you want in our colony? The Colonel! The guys! The Colonel! Men! Don't give up this position! Yes, yes, sir! Run and I'll kill you myself! This is not the time to be a bitch! <laughs> oh my freaking what god. A Mechon with a face! This thing is yeah. sick! I like his chin you? piercing. That's a new one. Like, 
rebound. And it looks strong. Looks like a titanium face mask. Oh, he just stabbed it! Just one stab? There's like giant ones, there's tiny spiders, like this is the my worst nightmare. I think anyone's worst nightmare. Is he, he's... He's probably gone gone, huh? I don't see a world where he survived that. No. We're just running back in there. At least the big one left really quick. Didn't want to defend the fortress or anything. I guess he left some people back to guard. Oh shoot, is it blocked? Dang it! Why? The is there a back entrance? The guys! I'm gonna destroy every last one of those damn mechon! Give me more emotion, Ryan. Redo the line. Shulk, the entrance. No, we'll never get in there now. Wait. Let that was a long pause. Oh my gosh, that was weird. Huh. Ryan, Biora, there's still the mobile artillery. Right. If we recharge it with those ether cylinders we collected, we can blast our way in. It's in the residential district. Great. All right, this is it. Time to avenge the Colonel and the boys. What's the plan now? We're gonna like, bring that robot back to life and use it to blast through. We're being just very rash right now. It doesn't seem like we're, I don't think we're thinking nearly enough. But I guess in this situation you just kind of got to go for it. Oh no! What the? Shulk, Game over. Behind. Ryan, looks like you and I will have to cut apart through them. Looks like it. Fiora, Ryan and I will open up a path. Then you can run through. You two can't do this by yourselves. I want to fight as well. Get through. We'll be right behind you. Can but you stop Shulk, talking back? A year ago, Every single freaking time, Fiora. The defense force. Fought hard to protect the colony and all of us homes. Now it's our turn to repay them. Please, Fiora. Uh, go. Shulk. Ryan. Don't look so worried. We'll just get rid of these ones. We're gonna Shulk die in the process of trying to make her feel less worried. <laughs> okay, I believe you. Go now, You're the Fiora. one who's gonna get us killed, Fiora. Ryan. Huh? You take care too. Of course. <laughs> Looks like she trusts me after all. I told you. Oh my god. There's certain times where character development works. I'm not sure if this is one of them. Alright. I guess we're gonna topple them. Break. Do what you can, Rai. Does it not work? Is he just like... Yeah, I think he was messed up. He's still toppled. It should be working, right? I feel like you're not feeling it enough. Whoa. We got the hearts. Best love story. Bring him down. Okay. If I topple, will you do your other thing, Ryan? I need you to do your part. Get ready for it. Do it, Ryan. Go. Go. Please tell me we didn't miss our opening. Yeah, we, have, we have two ways to a close break. Okay. That did it. Okay, cool. He's down. He's down. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Okay. And then let's break this one, too. Hey, Ryan. Do the thing. Do the thing. Ryan sucks. I like how all the other ones are just like watching from the sides. And they could be taking this out like instantly. Okay. 
At least both moves inflict flick break. Alright, do your thing. That's what's up. Using a chain attack. When carrying out a chain attack, you can select arts for the three members of the party to perform. During a chain attack, any arts that were still in the cooldown phrase will be available regardless. Okay, I think I understand. The deeper the affinity between the pair. Okay. Our affinity is pretty mediocre right now, but I'm sure we'll get it up. Seems like we're still kind of in the tutorial round, even though this is a very uh, dramatic event to be teaching us the basics. <laughs> we're literally fighting for the existence of our hometown. They're just like pausing to give us tutorials. It's great. <laughs> Is there a way I can be doing this better? Right, we'll get a break. Get ready, Ryan. Topple it. Thank you. Keeps on stressing me. You were never cut out for this stuff. You go. I'll take care of things here. You're too out of breath to persuade me. Tell me about it. Only killed a few little robots too. Oh, damn. Jeez. That was so close. We need the Monado stat. I don't know what we were expecting. We really didn't think this through. We were like in a safe area and we came to get ourselves skills. Oh, Dunban has it. To the rescue. What the heck? How did he move that fast? That was like Sonic the Hedgehog. The Monado. That's wild. Sorry, I kept you waiting. Dunban. You better be sorry. Whoa, yeah. I was worried sick. So this is why you weren't at home. I thought so. This is what I was waiting to see. Ready, lads. Aye, aye, Captain. Is three battle members like the most you can ever have? Or is what is the probably on the field at once is my guess. All right, in seventy-two. In seventy-two. I like how they're all numbered. They're all their own individuals. So adorable. Down, went down real quick. Nice one, Dunban. You didn't waste any time on them Mekon. Shulk, where's Fiora? The residential district. We said we'd meet her there. Looks like we'll have to take the long way round. All right. Really? Can we not then climb we over that? The commercial district. Yes. We can totally climb over that. Oh no. We're just like abandoning her? Maybe she should have stayed with us. Why did we send her off by herself? We put a lot of trust in her abilities. But like, that doesn't necessarily just seem to be the smartest decision in this instance. I'm running for it. We gotta see Fiora. We don't have any time to dwaddle. I don't play no games. Oh god, it's the big one again. I wish there was like a sprint button. I need a sprint button. Then the long way around is taking so long. Oh, the house is under attack too. This game is a lot of cutscenes. Seems like half movie. Dunban. Oh shoot! You can't take any more of the Monado. But I must. I don't have you a must. choice. Oh. Ryan's right. You can't go on like this. Mm. Shulk. Dunban. I'm filled with determination. 
This time, it's my turn. Shulk, okay. No, it'll kill you. Shulk. Nah. Have you not played Smash Bros? I'm supposed to be wielding this. Ooh, that was a good scream. Props to the voice actor. What's going on? What's happening? What is happening? Is it like all moving in slow motion? Oh, whoa. Did he just Raven Simone? Scene to the future? What the? That's really cool. Is that incorporated into the gameplay somehow? How would they work it? How would they work that in? This is a sick concept. Wow. Pretty awesome. She finally admits it. How could this be? Shulk is using the Monado. What was that? Shulk, more company! Ryan. Right. Ryan, mm. Dunbar! I got your back! Shulk, do you feel all right? I'm okay. But there was something strange. Just now, it was as if I could see into the future. Is this another power of the Monado? See into the future? What are you saying? Uh, are you certain, Shulk? Yes. I see. I remember Dixon saying that the Monado had a hidden power. Could this be it? What? Don't think about it now! Just believe what the Monado showed you and fight! Got it! Oof. That was... That was pretty captivating. And we can activate Monado. Select activate to switch between normal arts and Monado arts. Monado enchantment powers up allies. Monado buster deals major damage. Okay, perfect. What are we gonna start with? We're wielding the Monado. We're wielding the Monado. Let's kill him. Let's do what we're supposed to do. Why can I not use my arts here? Let's let's break them. We'll make a break situation. Oh, we brought them down. Perfect. Let me get behind. Yes. Do I have to. I do have to kill them. Okay. Oh, we get the Monado arts. Let's go with. Well, that's ordinary weapons. Increases damage. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. I think it allows everybody to attack the Necon. Do more damage. Break it on down. Ready for the breakdown. Whoa, did he just like split into two? I thought it was just one there. Whoa, that one did a lot of damage. I'm a fan of that. Okay, he's gone. Oh shoot, I need to heal myself. Oh, I almost died. I wasn't even paying attention to my HP. Shoo! There's so many. Alright. I think we're gonna go ahead and end it here. In the next episode, we will go and see what's up with Fiora. Hopefully she's okay. I should not be dragging on. See you guys then. Bye.